Guys, if this content has given you value or entertainment or both, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It really helps with the algorithm and helps this content get seen by more people. Thanks. Oh, oh. Hey guys, Nathan Brandon Masters. I told you I would get grandpa dancing to the granny theme, the granny's house theme, and there you have it. Uh, this is the helicopter escape, and this is going to be probably the last granny video for a while. So I hope you guys enjoy it. We're gonna jump into it. Before I do that, of course, Hexcraft Mechanics Ultimate Control, that is my new comic book project on Indiegogo. If you guys love bad girl comics, if you love urban horror, if you love vampires and monsters and all that good stuff, it is here for you. Hexcraft Mechanics Ultimate Control on Indiegogo right now. Link is in the description. Go over there and check it out. Let's jump into Granny. All right, guys. So this is the helicopter escape. This actually took me a lot less time than the other ones because this is actually one of the easier escapes and the reason is it's because it takes place upstairs now the thing about that is uh, because of the fact that everything uh, that basically they can't really get upstairs the places where you're fighting granny and grandpa are downstairs and upstairs but not in the attic so i should say that's in the uh the helicopters on the roof obviously so everything you're doing up there takes place in the attic and up and uh on the roof so this thing i set a lot of stuff up here you see where the pictures are there's a piece of picture there uh, i believe there's one in here uh and there's one downstairs okay all of those are obviously easy to get to the fuse is over in the drawer and that's one of those things that i do to kind of remember things where i open a drawer and try to remember that's there so i don't have to deal with it right then since that's on the upper floor i just have to come down the ladder run over there and get it it's not an issue now this was very helpful because i got the shotgun early in the game which gave me some kind of defense against granny and grandpa you know, for, for all the good <laughs> that it did. And while uh, I did tend to still end up getting cracked across the head, but the thing about the shotgun is that it puts them down for a minute and a half, so almost two minutes. And that's a good time for you to be able to do some of the things, like to run around and grab, run around and grab those, uh, those pieces of photo uh, if you want to grab the meat and run and feed the spider baby, if you want to do any of those things and they're out for a minute and a half, that's literally all the time you need to do that and probably uh, a little bit more. Now, one thing about the shotgun is that you can miss. It's harder to miss with the stun gun. Typically, when you miss with the stun gun, it's because you your aim, you know, like where the little dot is, it went off to the side when you were trying to hit it. With the shotgun, not so much, cause you can sometimes be directly. <laughs> wow, <laughs> he just walked right into that. Uh, you can be right up on the person and uh, still miss. Uh, you know, I don't know how that is. Again, you know, again, it could be your finger slipping or whatever. But again, grabbing the the uh, piece of picture right here, I'm gonna throw that in there. Uh, I like to throw that key over here in the one of the versions of this game or i said one time i played this and i went into the security room and then when i went back out i couldn't get back in the door locked so i always throw that key over there now i don't know if maybe uh thinking back on that that could have been because i didn't actually have it i just went in there like after he did uh but i always throw the key over there just in case i get locked out of it so another piece of photo grab that and uh, throw that in there. And the third piece is actually downstairs. So uh, I'm gonna have to get that when I feed the spider baby. And I find the spider baby strange because in the last game, Granny had a pet spider 
Here she comes. Yep. Granny had a pet spider, and in this game, she has an actual spider baby. Where does one find a spider baby? Don't know. But uh, I'm going to get up here, and this is where everything takes place. Okay, this is where all the important stuff takes place. So I'm going to go ahead, and uh, you can do this with the... You can do this with the taser or the shotgun. You've seen me do it with the taser all the time. Shotgun, same thing. Now, I need the wire cutters, and normally I would have brought them up here uh, first. You've seen me do that before. I throw them up there, and they're waiting for me right there, so all I have to do is get them and clip those chains. But this time, there's nothing I really need. Uh, the safe key is in there, and I don't need it. But this is where I got confused because, see, I started out doing one thing. I started out looking for the wire cutters. And I think they're just in the other room. But I ended up going to feed the spider baby for some reason. I don't know why I did that. No, I didn't. I know what happened. I went to get the third piece of picture of a uh, photo. Which I don't know why I did that either. Because I really just wanted to go get those wire cutters. But I guess I wanted to have those in there. Like all the pictures in there at one time. And then go ahead and uh, put the wire cutters up there. But in the process of all that, I ended up getting chased by Granny. So I had to wait down here. And, um, <laughs> you know, just so you know, I'm actually doing a different... Uh, I can't say I'm doing a different form of editing. Still the same type of thing I did last in the last game. Except this time, uh, I'm just cutting out everything that's extraneous. So if there's nothing really happening, uh, I just cut it. So... Uh, you'll get some of this traveling type stuff, but a lot of that's cut out too. Uh, I try to just keep what's kind of suspenseful, uh, you know, uh, stuff like this. You know, like those those moments where it's like, is somebody going to come out? Is somebody going to get them? You know, or, or get me, I guess. Uh, I try to keep those moments in and... Um, you know, stuff like this where it's kind of waiting things out. Remember, when you hear that bell, she's coming downstairs. So you don't want to rush up there because if you rush up there, she's going to get you. Uh, jumping in here, I need to get my stun gun ammo. I need to actually get my stun gun first. Uh, get the stun gun, get the stun gun ammo, and uh, we're kind of back at it. So I need to get that third piece of the photo, and I need to feed the spider baby so I can get... A very important piece very important item and uh, you'll see that I have to make a decision here and uh, I think it, I think it was a good one because uh, I, I turn that and uh, I get back up here and of course I have to go back up this is okay this is why feeding the, the spider baby is annoying because you have to do it in two steps you have to turn the crank, let the water flood out, go back upstairs, get the meat, bring it back downstairs. And typically, I think almost all the time, uh, I get caught doing it. So I have to kind of run and hide and then go back. Uh, I think there was maybe one, one time, uh, it may have been once or twice, where I was able to just kind of go right back upstairs. One of the mistakes I do is I do this thing where I make a I, I do like a split second decision and I always do the same decision which is going uh, I try to get upstairs real quick instead of trying to get to the kitchen real quick so I always go up this way instead of just going around to the stairs if I just go to the stairs that would be much quicker but also uh, I have a better potential of making noise and attracting uh, granny and speaking of Granny, there she is. We're going to just do that right there. Grab that. See, now that's another thing. That would make things a lot easier if I were able. I, one of the things I noticed about this is I have really garbage hand-eye coordination sometimes. So uh, sometimes I can do this. There's like no point in this game you know last time i played this i was able to do that like i could hit them with the stun gun and then grab it off of them and keep moving not at all in this game and it's it, like i played i don't think i did that 
any time in this game. It, they will always fall. The reason I do that is this. Especially when you're hitting, uh, when you're uh, hitting Grandpa with the stun gun. When you hit him with the stun gun, he's gonna fall and make a noise. Granny hears everything, okay? So not everything, but she hears most things. So when he falls, she's gonna be there immediately. Grandpa doesn't have good hearing, okay? When she falls, he kind of hears it, but you can do all kinds of things and Grandpa won't hear it. When he falls down, she's gonna be there in a few seconds. So I try to grab it off his chest or wherever I stunned him at, I try to, oh, there's the, there's the wire cutter. So I hadn't opened them yet. Uh, I try to uh, grab it off because as soon as they come, the next person comes up, you hit them with it and that'll take them both out for a minute or a minute and a half, which is, that's perfect because you don't have to worry about them for that time. So now that I have these shears, I need to get them and I need to get that gas, the same gas you use for the boat, need to get that all upstairs. So this is everything. And uh, go, in, uh, go in the other door and uh, open that, uh, uh, cut, the, uh, cut the chains off that box. And uh, whoever this character is falls out. I didn't even see, oh, there they go. Uh, and yes. This is the safe key. I pretty much deleted all the safe key stuff because this, it had nothing to do with this. Uh, the padlock key was in the safe, so I don't need the padlock key for this. I need the padlock key for the boat escape and the uh, front door escape, so I got that out of here. But what I will be uh, playing around with is these, <laughs> are these three grenades right here. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to see what I could do with these. And I've done this one time successfully where I've thrown one of those and it went, actually went into the hole and, and uh, exploded and knocked uh, Granny, uh, and I think Granny and Grandpa out. I got them both at one time, which was really, really, really cool. But there was only one time I did that. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to do it here. So I try to set it up where uh, I have them kind of right next to me. I'm going to lure Granny here. Shouldn't that like knock her out for two minutes or something? But, oh, and there he is. Now I tried to get them both. Uh, and what I should have did was had them both beside me instead of you know what I did there so you know but he's gone now I throw it anyway but he's long gone so what I'm gonna try to do here is I'm gonna try to get back down there since uh, she's gone and grand grandpa doesn't usually walk around in that area he usually stays around the uh, in that living room well that is the living room he stays in that kind of uh, den area over there and so uh, I'm gonna try to get this last piece of photo uh, the spider baby kind of keeps me away from it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and feed him, uh, go back upstairs and get the meat. But I'm not really sure why I did this. I, I know I was kind of making split second decisions, but typically if you want to get downstairs, I would just go around, you know, around the side into that bedroom and drop down into the uh, drop down into the back. Oh, I see what happened. I was heading over there and, and Granny was over there. Okay, got it. That's why I did all this. Okay, so Granny was over there and I came and then Grandpa, was, that was actually pretty good. That was pretty good. Okay, I got out of that. And so uh, go right here, feed the spider baby. Now, that is the helicopter key. Very important that I have that because that the helicopter key you can't pilot the helicopter now i need to make a choice here what i'm going to bring up there i need to bring and i'm hiding over here because i just threw the helicopter key down i was expecting uh, i was expecting granny to pop up but she didn't so uh thing is i need to take this uh this piece of photo first and the reason i need to do that is for me to actually get over there with the helicopter key i need to put that photo uh i need to uh, open that door and the only way to open that door is to put these 
put this uh, together and now the door will open. Now we have the shooting range. Okay, I'm gonna have to uh, knock the, well, you'll see that I'm gonna have to do some, some sharp shooting uh, to get over there to the helicopter. Now I'm gonna go back and get the actual helicopter key. Nothing is really in my way. I can just kind of go up and down the stairs without a problem. As long as granny or grandpa isn't, aren't there, not an issue. So go around here. I'm just gonna throw it there so I won't lose it. And now I'm gonna go back and get the shotgun because that is going to become uh, my entry to the helicopter, to the roof. So apparently granny and grandpa have it set up where you have to do this shooting range thing to get over here. So I'm gonna, now just to keep it real, I'm not a sharpshooter with this, okay? I just edited the hits. <laughs> just the point is because I wasn't going to have you set through me uh, doing this. So get the last two. Now what I tend to do is I tend to make more bullets come or push more bullets out than I need. And that's so after I shoot the target, I can reload my shotgun. Now, this door is open. Now, do not walk back there. Okay, very important. You have to do something. Now, Granny is actually is actually upstairs here. So I have to kind of get around her and then I can go back out. Now, the, the thing I need is that fuse. That fuse is in that drawer. All I have to do is go over to that drawer and get it. But we're going to wait Granny out for a second. So uh, I did get this gas, but I really wasn't looking for the gas. I was looking for that fuse. All right, so now I go back here. I'm just gonna throw the gas over here. Reason I'm still throwing everything over there is because, like I said, there's a trap door there. I found out about that trap door the hard way. Uh, in case you in just uh, there, you go. That's the fuse. But when I was doing the boat escape, I ended up on the roof. That's the first time I found the, the roof and found out about that. Uh, so I ended up on the roof, and before I actually went there, I fell to the other floor. I thought it was a glitch. And then I realized, you know, the way the character was acting, he didn't just keep moving. He was laid on the floor and then they came and got him. I realized, okay, that's a trap door. And uh, I went and checked out a video to see what that was all about. And they were like, yeah, dude, you need to put that fuse in there. So I, I, I learned uh, what that was all about. So I'm going to sneak around. That's another thing I've gotten decently good at if, granny or grandpa are not looking at you generally if you don't make any noise you can get away from them let me try to grab it nope still didn't do it and uh you saw grandma you saw granny was like right there right okay now one of the things that i do here uh, i don't know if i do it here but at some point i may have done it already there's a point where uh they were coming they were looking for me and i did this thing where they're chasing me and I just drop down into that, drop down into the bathroom. I try that so many times and it only works. Like when I first started playing this game, if you just kind of went over there, you'd fall through that vent. Now when I try to fall through that vent, I literally have to be directly on top of it. So I don't know why, you know, I don't know what happened there, but I'm gonna get her right in the face, wow. Still couldn't grab it though. So now when you get her, you have a little bit more time before uh, grandpa gets there, but you see how much trouble I'm having. That's just my bad hand eye coordination. I can't, you know, so uh, I have to have it directly on there and then I can get it. Now, I didn't hear anybody down here, okay? Right there, he just sneaks up on you and he just lays you out and that's again this is why i talk about when i talk about hugging the walls and stuff like that you have to be careful with that that's why now you know earlier i told you i made the decision down here and it worked out when i woke up i decided instead of going upstairs to go look for the tape out here where the boat is i don't know why i decided to do that well later on i i realized that i do remember the tape being there but I don't know why just to this time I just decided to do it so I said you know let me just take a kind of take a peek down here 
then I'll go back upstairs. One of the things I can say is, uh, I know it was the tape is usually in that drawer, or it's in one of those cabinets, and I know it wasn't in it wasn't in in this first drawer right there, and I didn't see it anywhere else. So I guess that's why I looked down there. But uh, I have it. This tape is actually very important. You can't take off without this tape. So I have the tape. I have the key. Gas is in the helicopter. I need to tape this blade up. This helicopter blade, I need to tape that up. There we go. Now, all I have to do, one more thing. I don't have to, I don't have to do this. I don't know why I do that. I just wanted, and it's weird because I take that off and I don't go back around. I could just go back around there. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is the helicopter key. And you see the boat steering wheel back there. That's how I discovered the roof. Start the engine. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the helicopter escape. This has been Granny Chapter 2. Thank you guys for watching. And to those who have stuck around for this, uh, for the Granny stuff, uh, thank you. I'm glad that you did. I hope that you enjoyed it. You guys take it easy. Don't forget about my Indiegogo Hexcraft Mechanics Ultimate Control. It's an urban fantasy bad girl book, and it's a prequel to Hexcraft Mechanics issue one. And as a matter of fact, you could also say it's a prequel to Epitaph Bread and Salt. So you guys take it easy. Nathan Brandon Masters, Asta. Don't look back, we're here to stay. A life we knew would come one day. And this is it, the borderline to where the future lives. Behind. The fire will burn and never die Looking through the eyes of a brand new life It's so